what's up guys so out of all the videos i recorded i never showed you guys how to set the time zone on your ubuntu server in order to have accurate timekeeping what's up guys it's josh back with another video and today i want to do another server video and what i wanted to do was show you guys how to set your time zone on your ubuntu server and most of the other linux servers you know you can do it the exact same way they use an application called time date ctl and this is essentially a utility built into the operating system that keeps accurate time and controls the time zones as well as manage everything where it comes to time on the system. And it's very important to do this because uh, accurate timekeeping on your server, you know, is very important for modern software, you know, deployments because you could encounter like data corruption or error, especially when you're dealing with data, you know, other issues may may hop up as well and sometimes it can make it very difficult to debug software that you're developing so let's check out the system timekeeping utility that's built into the operating system and show you guys how to manage it and change it if need be before we move forward i wanted to give a quick shout out to ciq the official partner of rocky linux Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, cool. So I'm connected via SSH to one of my Ubuntu servers on my Proxmox server uh, set up as a virtual machine. And this is using the latest version of Ubuntu, which is Ubuntu 22.04. And I wanted to show you guys how to manage this uh, time and date and all that stuff on this system uh, by managing your time zone. And the first thing I wanna do is show you guys the date command. So I always show you guys the man pages for all the commands that I show you guys. So uh, man date and you can check it out it'll say it basically prints and sets the system date and time so beneficial command let's go down and run it right fast so i can show you guys what actually pops up and essentially if you hit dates uh it'll pop up the current date and time now as you can see it's set to utc so that's universal time zone and majority of the time uh these servers by default will go to utc time you know whenever you get it installed it doesn't have an option during the installer to change the time zone uh you have to physically change it soon as soon as you get into the system or whatever and it trips me out because i never show people how to do this so right now uh for me it is currently november 13th and it's 2 20 p.m and that's Pacific Standard Time. So I wanna set this server to Pacific Standard Time because it's located in Pacific uh, Standard Time. So uh, that's the best way to set it up so you don't have any time issues in the future. Now, let me show you guys the other command that I was talking about is essentially time date CTL. And let's go to the man page for that so you guys can see that. So time date CTL and press enter and as you can see it controls the system's time and date and this is a built-in utility that you can easily use to set your time zones now let's go in and show you guys how to find out what time zone because you may not be specific standard time just like me so all you have to do is type time date ctl and type of list dash time zones and i tabbed it out that's why it uh, automatically completed the uh the command but let's press enter and as you can see it'll go through each one of the time zones and as you can see it's uh like a whole bunch of pages uh you can hit the space bar but what you want to do is find your time zone mine is american uh los angeles and you want to pick what's closest to you that way you can select the proper time zone for your location but it has all the different time zones on here uh, all you gotta do is go through and find it 
and then put it on there or whatever and like i said i'm using los angeles so let's go on and i'm gonna I'm go down and find it so you guys can see i think i might have passed it yeah i did because it's in alphabetical order so as you can see you can kind of you can you can copy it uh that's one of the easiest ways to do it you can copy it boom uh and then hit quits and then i'll drop you back to the command line and let's uh go down and clear the screen but it's just simple command to actually set it so it's time date and what you want to do is use sudo because anytime you're messing with something like this you have to use the sudo command uh, so i just backed out that list i'm gonna go to the front type sudo then go back to the end and there's an option that you put in here so set uh dash time zone and then you can go down and paste your uh, time zone in there and like I said mine's American Los Angeles and that will put me in Pacific Standard Time So let's go down and press enter you guys will see that uh, ask for your pseudo password because you're making a system change And press enter boom you get to go now if you run that date command again You know what I'm saying you'll see that we are in the proper time zone and like I said a few seconds ago to it was a uh, 220 you know when i first did this or when i first ran the uh time command uh 220 so now it's 223 three minutes later uh when i made that change but now as you can see it's uh uh pst so pacific standard time so we good to go now let me show you guys something else uh in order to sync the actual time that you have on the system and that way it'll always stay up to date you want to uh make some changes to the time date date CTL uh, that way it'll keep the proper time on the system and there was a previous um, application out there or utility on Ubuntu servers called NTP and that was that basically stands for network time protocol and there was a daemon that used to run called NTPD you know network time protocol protocol uh, daemon that will run on your ser server to sync the time well now you can control uh, the syncing of the time using a utility called time sync D and that's included on your Ubuntu install and you can control that application using the time date CTL and I know I might have confused you but essentially what I'm saying is you can control your syncing of the time on the server by using the same command that we just used to set the time zone on the system now let me show you guys what I mean by that so if we type time date ctl this will print out all the time information for it so local time universal time which is utc uh rtc time uh and it basically shows you the difference uh and then the time zone that we have set that's what essentially what we did we set that time zone there well one of the things in order to keep this time synchronized is by making changes here so system clock synchronization yes um, and then NTP service, you can use the NTP service, which is active. And so that lets us know that the time is being synced. But let's say that's not on, you know what I'm saying? Let's say it's not active or anything like that. I just kind of wanted to show you guys the command to set that. Uh, so your time will be synchronized. Uh, but it should be on by default. Uh, but you never know with some of these systems you may install. But if you go to sudo, uh, time, date ctl and then if you type set dash ntp and then you want to put it to on and that basically will turn that on right there so the system clock synchronization ntp service so that'll set that on allow it to synchronize and just so you guys know uh because i kind of didn't explain this but the reason for me talking about time sync d that's it actually what's running it says NTP service, but it's actually the time sync D application that's running in the background. But essentially, all you have to do is hit on and that will, you know, make sure your time is synchronized on this server. And so I figured this video would be super short because it's not that difficult of a command. Uh, I'll go down and write up an article and put that on my website as well on how to actually do this. This is very simple to do you know what i'm saying and like i said it's very important to do this on your servers especially production servers that you're running uh especially if you like syncing data or if you you know use it as a, a server for 
you know, whatever purpose when it comes to, you know, websites or something to that effect, uh, you won't run into any issues if you set the correct time on the system and keep it synced. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techy.